So I was sitting around talking with my parents this evening after dinner and the Grammys came up. The award show here in America called the Grammys. And I shared with them that my teacher Craig, on one of his teachings earlier in the, earlier in the day, he shared that he watched the Grammys with his wife for a few minutes because she really likes it when he sits down and watches TV every now and then. He kind of laughed about it. And he said when he was watching the Grammys that even though these people um, had a lot of material wealth that he could feel into their deep insecurity because they so badly needed to be adored from others. They so badly, they so much derived their love from an external source. And I was sharing that um, with my family. And so we were just talking about how if you don't feel whole within, if you don't feel, if you don't find your love within, that no matter how much money you accumulate, how much success, and um, how much love you get from another person, you're never going to feel full. There, it will never be enough. There's not, it's never going to be enough money, enough success, enough relation, enough love, enough sex, enough whatever it is for you. And I just got to sharing, you know, how so often I rely on external validation. So like if my subscriber count, say I like lose a subscriber or two, at times that, especially earlier in my channel, um, origination, that would really throw me. And I would be like, wow, I'm deriving a lot of my feelings of wor worthiness and feelings of love from an external source. But then I realized, even if I had 5 million subscribers, I would feel like I would need 10 million subscribers, right? And then I would get 10 million, and then I would be like, now I need 20, like, it would never be enough. And I, and I started, I've started realizing that. But that's the case with everything. And we were talking about that, and my dad said something so profound, so beautiful. He said, even if you just had one subscriber and you help to better their life, isn't, wouldn't that make everything worthwhile? And I was just like, whoa, I didn't even really hear it at first, but then after the conversation, I reflected on that and I was like, dang, that was so powerful. So I went back in and I told him, I was like, hey, thanks for sharing that with me. Um, it was a really nice thing to hear and he's like, well, yeah, isn't, isn't that the whole point, you know? And I was like, yeah, I guess it is. And I, I, and I had forgotten, I was like, sometimes I forget that, Dad. And like, um, it was, and it just kind of made me, like, think about things, put everything in the right perspective. And even if, like, even if, you, just say, let's say YouTube, for an example. Even if you had a YouTube channel and you had no subscribers, but... The, the act of shooting a YouTube video helped heal you, helped make you feel whole, you know, helped, helped you share your love and, and through sharing your love helped you know your own love deeper, then that's worth it. So just know that no matter whatever, no matter what you do today, it doesn't matter what happens. The outcome doesn't matter. It just matters where is the action coming from. So if you're like, let's just say a salesperson and you're, and you go to every customer with love and, and you go to every customer with integrity and honesty and authenticity and you get no sales, you go, oh, for, I used to have days like this every now and then I talk to like 20 people <laughs> no, and no one would say yes <laughs> and sales is commission. So that's like no money. Even if that happens. It doesn't matter because where did the movement come from? If you shoot a video and no one watches it, <laughs> I've done that a few times. It doesn't matter Did the video, were you being authentic? Were you being honest? Were you being open? Was it coming from a place of love and joy and peace? You know, if you, if you 
write a beautiful song and no one hears you sing it, but you, through the act of you writing it and you singing it and you expressing it, something within you heals and you have more access to your own love and you come to love yourself more, well then that's the gift. Anything beyond that is just, it's a wonderful bonus, you know? It, it, but it doesn't define you. Your results, no matter what you're doing, don't define you. And I just really wanted to share that with you guys about just the power of acting, of acting from a place of your highest integrity your highest joy and your highest love. And know that whatever a universal law is, what you give, you get. But that's not why we do this. We don't do this to get anything in return. So, yeah, I just thought that was a really powerful conversation. Um, I just wanted to open up to you guys about that. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Namaste.